Everybody, we will be going live in one minute and 22 seconds. Make sure you reach out to your friends, send them a text because tonight we are finding out what the ultimate Thanksgiving side dish is. We have a massive tournament, a huge bracket. Uh, Maddie and Hannah's friend, welcome. Uh, I'm excited you are here with us. I see Hannah is up there. Usually Maddie is with her. The, the uh, I always say your guys' names wrong. The last name, Narion, and that's not correct. It's Josiah and Dathan. You guys are going to have to teach me at some point. Uh, but you've got 45 seconds. We'll be back in just a minute, and we will get this started. Send a text to your friends. Get them over here. This is super important. Mm -hmm.
to Lightco Live. We are back. We have a special guest. She's not really a guest. She's just awesome all the time. Guys, producer Andrea is back in the house. Mm -hmm. It is good to have you with us. How has it been not producing Lightco? What's been what's been happening in your life? We need a life update from producer Andrea. Um, you know, I'm working on my master's degree, writing some papers. Working away from home. Wow. Every day. Wow. Uh-huh. That's great. That's great. I've been working away from home as well. Uh, we've got lots of people to say hi to. Jackson, Puppy Cookie. I'm not sure who that is. And then the double smiley faces. You guys are super welcome here. Thanks for tuning in. We are ready to uh, jump into our... Um, our game. There we go. If you, spot, if you spotlight me, that'll do it. If you, I think you have to right click on my picture. Nope. Keep going. I'll figure it out. Well, we'll figure it out. Um, anyway, guys, uh, there we go. We're back. Um, it is good to be here. By the way, uh, uh, me, Audrey, and Lorelai are here. Awesome. Faye Folu, welcome. It's good to see you guys. So here is how this is going to work. In the chat, we are going to have a series of uh, votes for which side dish at Thanksgiving is superior. So it's super easy. It's like either or, right? Which one do you like better? We're going to have 30 seconds to vote in the chat for each item in the first round. There's not going to be any debate. But later in the rounds, we're going to have some debates. There's some good ones over here. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm intrigued to see in the comments right now, before we throw the uh, um, bracket up on the screen, let me know what you think the ultimate side dish is for Thanksgiving. The biggest meal of the entire year, what is the ultimate side dish? For me, oh... I just really love some cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce really? is where it's at. It is so good. What about you, producer Andrea? I think I have to go with the potatoes. Pota just generic uncooked potatoes. No, wow. Like mashed potato, like whatever form the potato is in that night is okay. my favorite. Okay. I'm going to see if yeah. I can ruin that for you when I make potatoes for our, our family Thanksgiving. Just make some brutal mashed potatoes. Wow. We've got some mac and cheese, green bean casserole, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and turkey. Of course, Folu. That is perfect. Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and see our bracket. Let's get a preview right. of, what, uh, of what this is going to look like. So as you can see on your screen... We've got our one seed is mashed potatoes. Lots of you guys said mashed potatoes. Producer Andrea said mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes is the one seed. And then they're going up against sweet potato casserole. Stuffing and dressing is going up against cornbread, green bean casserole, and creamed corn, collard greens, and okra. Some real southern dishes there. We've got mac and cheese, deviled eggs, rolls and biscuits, and then pumpkin pie and pecan pie, as well as candied yams and cranberry sauce. So wow. there is a lot to get through tonight. So mm -hmm. for the first matchup, we are going mashed potatoes against sweet potato casserole. You have 30 seconds starting right now. You got to let me know in the comments which one you think is the superior uh, um Puppy cookie is fave. Oh, yeah, perfect. Um, which is better, mashed potatoes or sweet potato casserole? There could be an upset here because I love sweet potato casserole. Your timer has started. Cast those votes. Make it happen, guys. Uh, potatoes, let me know. Potatoes, potatoes. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Someone give me some sweet potato casserole love. All Oh, we got one sweet potato casserole. More mashed potatoes. Five seconds left. It is all mashed potatoes. It is a blowout. Yes. Mashed potatoes yes. is getting our first mm -hmm. advance into the second round. Mashed potatoes, clear winner. No shocking upset there. We're moving on. Stuffing and dressing against cornbread. This one could go either way. Yeah. I love cornbread, some nice warm like butter on it. But if it's Thanksgiving Day, yeah, I that's... really want the stuffing. Yep. You know? Like cornbread is great if I'm at a if you're doing barbecue. Sure. 
But for Thanksgiving, I really want that stuffing. All right, you've got 30 seconds. Let me know, is it stuffing or is it cornbread? Go ahead and start oh, casting your right votes. Now. We've got cornbread, oh, cornbread stuffing, stuffing, cornbread, cornbread. Are you keeping a good tally over cornbread, there? Cornbread, Cornbread looks like it has it. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, lots of cornbread coming in there at the end. Cornbread takes the win. I'm actually surprised. I am not. I know that we've got like several uh, people that either lived in the South for a long time or uh, honestly, well, like the booths, you guys just moved up here. Uh, cornbread is a huge yeah, staple in I'm the from South. Iowa, you know, we like our stuffing. Yeah. Well, you guys make cinnamon rolls with your chili. We do. Mm. We do do that. Um, is Caleb Ross, it's showing up on here as Caleb Ross. Is that Rob Ross? I'm guessing that's Rob Ross. Uh, we're moving on to the next round. we got to keep moving here. We've got green bean casserole, GBC, going up against cream I corn. I love both of those. No, green bean casserole all the way. I You've got 30 both. seconds. Go ahead and start casting your votes. GBC or CC? Yes. We, I, if it is fresh cornbread, oh my goodness, it does not get I'm any better. Like my mouth is I know, I'm, uh, this is, See, this I haven't is had rough. Yet. Mm. Oh, What's it looking casserole. like? It's gotta be. I hate both. <laughs> I love it. Green bean casserole. The boy has hijacked the computer tonight. I take it back. I love it. Green bean casserole. Several people saying they hate both. Don't worry, you'll be able to we vote them out. green bean casseroles. And then I take my vote back, back. Puppy Cookie is going with... I'm not sure. I don't like it. A tie. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, so it's green bean casserole, green bean though, casserole. right? So yeah. we're going over. Moving on. See, I love them both, too. Now, here we go, guys. This is... If you're not from the South, this is a bottom of the barrel like we don't eat this stuff up here no so collard greens going up against okra, okra. i don't think i've had i've ever had either of those oh my goodness you've never had collard greens no oh uh, all right collard greens going up against okra you have to pick one please vote for us otherwise it'll be like one to one and we'll have to figure it out uh collard greens going up against okra um, let's see what we got. I hate both. Okra is the bomb. No cap. Okra's winning. Okra, I think, is going to take this. Okra, okra. okra Neither yes. one should be on the Thanksgiving table, <laughs> says Rob. I have tried both. I think we're going to go ahead and give it to okra, and we can get back over to yeah. the other side of the bracket now. We've got a really interesting... Oh, we did get a collard green. Um, I think we're still we're still rolling with okra. Yeah. It was pretty overwhelmingly okra. Mm -hmm. All right, now we've got a. This is mixing it up here. This is yes. a lot different. Uh, this is more desserts, more side desserty. It's just a, a whole different ballgame over here mm -hmm. on this side. We've got cranberry sauce going up against candied yams. You've got your 30 seconds to vote. I know where I'm voting. This is obviously cranberry sauce. It's the best side dish in the entire, like, existence of Thanksgiving side dishes. I gotta add in a real quick... Three cranberry sauces so far. Three of them. There's gotta be more than that, right? We're, we're winning this thing. Mm-hmm. Four, five. Come on, guys. Because they don't know what the other thing is. Six, seven. <laughs> um, cancel. Why is it looking like that? That's not good. I'm going to delete that. Uh, what did we end up with here? Cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce with the win. Neither. They can put both of those on the old people table with the okra and the collard greens. No. <laughs> If you want to uh, switch back and forth between Thanksgiving tournament and tournament, um, I can do that. Just to mix things up, but uh, cranberry sauce. Moving on, they are going to need some help. Uh, pickled eggs will not be coming into play at all, Maddie. No time tonight. Will pickled eggs be on this menu? All right, for dessert, 
Are we talking pecan pie or pumpkin pie? Which one is moving on? You can only have one pie mm -hmm. moving into the quarterfinals. Is it pumpkin pie or pecan pie? Go ahead and vote. You've got your 30 seconds. We're going to see which dessert is moving on to the next round. Pickle, yeah. The Weisses had me over. I think that was for Easter. And one of their family traditions is, I guess, pickled eggs. It's... We have three pecans. Oh, my. Two pumpkins. Oh, one, two, five pumpkins. Five pumpkins. Three Emmy pumpkins. says no pie for me, not today. But all pies are gross. Audrey, no. I think we're going with the pumpkin. Pumpkin pulls it out. They do. Pumpkin with the win. Nice job. Pumpkin pie uh, moving on to the semifinals. They're going to be going up against cranberry sauce. I'm based on how this voting has gone. That's not going to be much of a much of a competition at all. All right, we've got two more before we go play Among Us. Uh, we are looking for rolls or biscuits. Is it rolls or biscuits? What is the way to go? I think it's got to be rolls. If you get a nice toasted roll, it's warm, fresh out of the oven. Yeah, I oh. do like biscuits. Have are too dense for me. I on a like Thanksgiving, the, you're I looking like for Aries. something. Yeah. The goal really is to break up your palate in yeah. between mm -hmm. the other side. Yeah, whereas the biscuit just sits mm -hmm. down in your stomach and takes up space that should belong to turkey and mashed yes. potatoes, right? Two. What are we looking at here? Let's see. We've got One, two, rolls, 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 biscuits, biscuits, buttered rolls, biscuits, rolls. It's close. It is. Let's give it I, another. Is it is it I rolls? Think it's rolls. All right, rolls with the win. Uh, we have one left. Mm -hmm. We've got yes. Make that make that leaderboard look good, producer Andrea. She <laughs> is a pro. This is it looking. So yeah, good. over under. I love it. All right, the last matchup, guys, we, do we even need to vote for this one? I think we can all just move mac and cheese into the quarterfinals, right? I guess it's a formality. Go ahead. You've got 30 seconds to vote on mac and cheese or deviled eggs. Come on. Ugh. We don't even need to. You don't need we don't to debate need to this. Do this. We can just I don't know. My right niece, off. she is... Four. And that's so like that it. means she's not old enough to understand how both. gross deviled eggs are. She likes both. All I'm saying is we got deviled eggs in the fridge one day. She tried it once and then ate them all. I don't before know. The, before the meal even started. Grace is awesome, but that's that's weird. But she also that's mac and weird. Cheese. Mac and cheese had better win this. I don't get to vote because it's my game. Mac and cheese is leading. Get how two people do oh. deviled eggs. Mashed potatoes. Jackson said mashed potatoes. Uh, love it. I think mac and cheese has got this. Yeah, I think so too. Rob with the for Thanksgiving dinner deviled eggs. That is, I just don't get it, guys. I do not get the attraction, the allure, if you will, of deviled, deviled eggs. eggs. I don't get it. So we're going to pause right here. We've got, let's take a look at our semifinals. Yeah. We've got mashed potatoes going up against cornbread, green bean casserole going up against okra, mac and cheese going up against rolls, and pumpkin pie and cranberry sauce. Right now, the favorite, I think, overwhelmingly was mashed potatoes. Yeah. But we'll see if they hold on to their lead and bring it home for the ultimate mm -hmm. side-giving championship. But right now, you need to head over to the Zoom call because it's time to play Among Us. Here we go. I need the mouse mm -hmm. over here. We're going to get this rolling. Can you let people into our Zoom room? Yes. You guys know the uh, drill at this yeah. point. We're going to play Among Us. You don't need to be in the Zoom call, but it works way better if you are all in the Zoom call with us so we can laugh and accuse each other of murder, all of that fun stuff. Uh, so join the Zoom call. Producer Andrea will let you in. I'm going to get our... Uh, among Us game set up. We'll be ready to go. Make sure you mute your sound on your computer so you can't hear me tell everyone which team I'm on because uh, that's just, that's that's not cool. It gives you an advantage. Uh, we've got 12 people watching, so we should be able to get a full game here. Uh, and it looks like there's more than that because, yes, Lorelai, Audrey, Chelsea are all hanging out together. 
Good to see you guys. Uh, Folu is in. Maddie, welcome. Good to see you. Um, the code for our Among Us game is below. Uh, Producer Andrea can throw that either in the Zoom chat. Uh, the, there is no code for the Zoom. It is in the description. The link is in the description of our um, uh, YouTube uh, page, or not our page, the uh, YouTube video. So if you scroll down just a little bit, open up the uh, description of the video and the link for our Zoom call should be there. Uh, our code for our Zoom game, or not our Zoom game, our Among Us game is J-Y-P-W-H-F. So that is how you get in. Uh, there's a couple of new people coming in tonight. So if you, when you get in, we love having new people. Just help us. Yes, that's great. Let us know uh, who your friends are, because honestly, the whole Zoom bombing stuff, we just want to make sure that uh, people get in that get in. I believe so. Okay. Uh, I'm getting just some confirmation from uh, people. Awesome. Welcome, friends. We've got eight people in our Among Us room. Uh, the code is in the chat oh, I'm in here. of our Zoom call. We're going to start this game once we fill it all the way up, because we definitely will have enough people to fill it all the way up. Hey, Neil, giving us a shout out, uh, saying he will play unless we need another player. Um, I think we should be OK, Neil. We've got nine right now, but thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll, uh, I'll catch up with you uh, later on tonight, I guess. And what's the code? The code for the Among Us game is J Y. P W H F. I just typed it in the chat. Yep, it looks like the room is full though. So if you, we're going to start this game, but if you did not get in, we will get you in in the next game. All right. Okay. Uh, looks like we've got plenty of people in the Zoom call. If you're on the Zoom call and in the game, raise your hand. Wow, the phone, the Audrey's phone just went flying, <laughs> flying. across the room. Do you raise your hand if they think the phone went? <laughs> All right, so... And I'm here, but my camera's off. Okay, that's great. That's great. All right, we're going to go ahead and start this game. It is time to play Among Us. Make sure you're not watching my YouTube, because if I'm an imposter, that would be... Every time. Every time. All right. I'm off doing my tasks. Don't do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> I know they want to do it. Manny is watching. Make sure I'm Maybe doing a visual task. Well, she's probably checking that I'm doing a visual yeah. task. You know, so I'm gonna stay in here with Manny because she seems she seems okay. Oh wait, I have a thing. Avocado looking sus over there by the thing. I'm not very good. I'm about to get killed. I can feel it. Someone is going to. Come in here and stab me in the back. I bet it's going to be avocado. My money's on avocado. <sighs> okay, still alive. Staying alive. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I see you making those secondary jiggles with your your joystick. Joystick jiggles, they call it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm definitely dead. I'm about to die. Someone's about to kill me. I can feel it in my bones. I'm just doing tasks. Has no one been recording doing yet? Look at this. Look at this, guys. I have never had this happen before. That was I the easiest wiring. But can you get your swipe in one swipe? Oh, of course I'll get this in one swipe. Boom. Oh. Silky. Silky smooth card swipe. I feel like I should call an emergency meeting just because of that. Oh, oh lots ah, of people in here. For you? I'm dead. I'm dead. Here you go. That's been fun playing, guys. But no, I'm still alive. Wow. This is really we're doing a lot of tasks. I've I've got okay, okay, it's it's time to get our act together here. That he's got that one. I went the wrong way. Oh no. We'll be okay. We've got time. We've got time. 
There's no dead bodies yet? No. I'm working on an upload though, so I could be I could be next. Someone call an emergency meeting. This is this has been a, this is so long. Suspiciously long. Very long. I'm calling a meeting. I'm calling a meeting. Oh, good timing. Oh, right when you got there. Oh, only one dead body. Okay, it's dark so blue. I watched her kill. Where was the body? It's dark blue. Dark blue? It was in lower engine. Oh, okay. Who is who is fresh? Jackson, what do you have to say for yourself? Um, I disconnected. Guess we're voting fresh then. Jackson, we want to hear your defense. <laughs> there it is. It was definitely not me. Okay, where okay, were you? Let's just see. Uh, electrical. You were in electrical. Where was the dead body? She said lower engine. That could check out. That's what? decently close. And you can well, vent to cams and then just go to lower. No, engine. it's lower engine. I want. Or no, it's blue. I mean, I watched them kill. All right, oh, chat. Could be a self-report. It could be a self-report. Is Lorelai that sneaky? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and skip because I don't feel... I feel like we've got a lot of people... Oh, no, Audrey got kicked. It says Audrey is disconnected. Oh, yeah, my Wi-Fi. Oh, no. Um, I'm just okay. skipping because I think we're gonna have enough votes to carry I anyway. That's kind of oh sus. I'm Are not, there two imposters? I'm not an imposter. Someone suggested in the chat was fine. I should go for it and vote fresh. Oh, I already skipped. Oh, I should have listened to the chat. I always listen to the chat, guys, and I it was wasn't the, hearing. It was in the Zoom chat. I wasn't hearing anything from the chat, so that's why I skipped. All right, Jackson has been voted off the island. Let's see. Are confirms on or off? Confirms are off. We will not know. We did get a lot of tasks done, guys, so that's really good. Lots of tasks were completed. We're going to keep fixing these wires. We really need a mouse pad. It's very slippery. Yeah. We're going to need to... Do you want my book? No, it just depends a lot of times on, you know, some... Oh, mm -hmm. I, I don't like this one. Two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Taking care of business. I only have one more task. Oh, and I'm going to die in here. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Oh, right. Here it is. Can. Yep. Oh, I thought that was me. I thought I was going to die. Uh, oh. Wow. Three more. Take it out. Okay, so I feel like, um, so I don't think it's Hannah and I don't think it's Ken because I saw them both doing tasks and I think they could have killed me at one point. Where was the body? I'm not sure. I think it might be red because they were chasing me around the map. Where was the body at? There's something going on with Audrey and Chelsea, but we can't hear them. So if there was some kind of sensitive information that was conveyed, we will never know. Maybe there's two imposters in that room. I feel like it might be red because they were following me, following no. me so much. Me and no, are I can dead. clear Lorelai because I was locked into the the spinny one where you have to stop it in electrical. You know that one, and you have to you have to push the button. I was doing oh, yeah. that one, and I had messed it up a couple times, and Lorelai came in there, and she could have killed me because I was all alone just doing a task, and she didn't. Okay, I also don't think it's Hannah because she could have also killed me because we were doing stuff together, and I don't think she had the... I don't think she could have killed me. Wait, I have a question. Orange already voted. Who is Swiper? <laughs> I don't think we know who Swiper is. I think Hannah said that was her. Uh, I'm not sure. Though. I don't even know how I voted. I 
<laughs> Sus. Sus. I'm gonna skip because I don't feel like I should vote and I don't know who it is. Rob, where were you? Tell me how to read the map and I'll have a better answer for you. I was I was pretty I was just to the right of the cafeteria. Okay. And then I came back in the cafeteria and it was dead already. I don't think those are the words of someone who killed three people that round, guys. I haven't seen him all game. Though. Feel some hands raised. Chelsea. Um, I'm dead. I just have a question. How many imposters are there? Two. Okay. So if we got Jackson in the first round, that means there's only one more. Hey, Ken. Yeah. If you're, do the imposters know who the other imposter is? Do they get told? You can yeah. you can see it on your screen. So if you're the imposter, the other imposter shows up as red. Which is why it's always been great that I've never been the imposter when we play online. Their name shows up as red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause then everyone would know who both imposters were if you were watching the live stream. Wait, it's, it's so each per each person thinks the other one is red? I don't know. Yeah. The sense. so typically the name above the player is black. But if you're the imposter, the name above the other imposter shows up as red. Oh, okay. And in the voting page. I think it, we should skip. Oh, so you'll so there's no way to not know who it is. It's very obvious to you yeah. at all times. Hey Rob, yeah. what color is your name? Color is my what? Is your name. Are you trying to trick me? I, I see everything is white. Okay. Just hmm. checking. Just making Intriguing. Sure. <laughs> Intriguing. Yeah, nice litmus test for the uh, the newbie. I like that. <laughs> How close are we to tasks? Um, I'm kind of halfway for mine. Okay. I'm, sure. I'm done. I'm just, I just have one more. So I don't stay even know together. How you tell which tasks are yours? My bad. Um, I'm dead. So do I get to stay in this? How many tasks I've done? No, you just have to do all your tasks, Maddie, unfortunately. I feel like it might be Rob, though. I have a feeling. A low key, I'm kind of feeling that, too. Because he's so confused, and I feel like he knows the rules, but he's pretending to, like, if, I just feel like. He... <laughs> A lot of old people are good with tech. You got that right. <laughs> like, I feel like when he asks about the imposters, like, how do you know which one's your imposter? Like, who's the imposter with you? I feel like that was kind of like a sus question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. No one was ejected. We're going back in. Finish these tasks, guys. You, you sound like someone who will soon die from the hands of some imposter <gasps> that neither of us can identify. We lost another player in the game, guys. Yes. Avocado left. Maybe they died already. Folu. Stay with st Folu. <laughs> just, I'm just staying with the buddy system. Oh, she's, she's freaked out. She's freaked out. She doesn't realize it's the buddy system. I got you. No! You guys saw that in the chat on the live stream. What do I do? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. She died. No, she DC'd. She disconnected. But she's worked off and dead. Not That's how it shows up. So she was, Purple Man was in the hallway on the right of storage. You guys got to get this. You gotta vote this time. You can't not vote. Yeah, we have to vote. We're not gonna Was get tasks. We have to vote them off here. Was anyone around? Hannah, where were you? Security. You didn't think. No, I was in security and no one was in there. No one was uh, in uh storage? The only ones I saw the whole round were red and orange, and now purple's dead. And where was Ken? Ken so you got my vote. I, I was buddied up with uh, Folu. Like we were just running around together. She was getting her tasks done, and then she disconnected from the game. Guys, she is not dead. She just disconnected, and then I ran into the body shortly after that.
So Hannah, where were you? Because I was in security and you were not in there. It might be Lorelai. No, I reported the first body. I told everyone who I thought it was, and it was them. That's Why true. That's a great else? defense, Lorelai. Great defense. I remember that. <laughs> I think it's Maddie. Or it's Orange. Hannah, you're still muted. No, I know. <gasps> I put myself. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> Where were you? You did it. Oh, cafeteria. Wait, what happened up there, Lorelai? I accidentally voted myself. <laughs> <laughs> or like voted herself. Or maybe you know something we don't know. <laughs> Ow, bye. <laughs> Her face. Oh, <Lorelai. laughs> no. Okay, guys, call an emergency meeting right when you can. Right away. Oh, I thought you Stay away! <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> no! Drop left. Is it rum? I'm voting Rob. Yeah, I'm voting you, Ken. Rob left the table which would be a uh, classic, like, still figuring out how this is going to work in, with three people uh, as the imposter. When we were all trying to call an emergency meeting and he ran away. Thought... It's either Rob or Swipper. But Swipper was staying there. Is it Swipper or Swiper? I'm, it's probably Swiper. Was staying there to try and call the meeting. Okay, who won? Come on, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh. No! no! Oh. Hannah, that was so well done. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Both you and Jackson. Yeah, you gotta listen to me. She, she literally said she was in security and she wasn't even I, there. That's an automatic I, imposter. I, I, can I say something yeah. real fast? The thing that it, the thing that's another thing that's um sus is that no one notices, but um Hannah said she was in security and then she just quickly changed to cafeteria. I'm surprised. <laughs> no I know. That's what yeah, I know. Oh. Guys, that's that's that. that's brutal. We have to be better than that. Hey, I just want to say from not even probably five minutes into the game, I said I literally go. It has to be orange or it was Hannah two seconds because the literally game. she went, Hannah, you went into every single room for a second and then went back out. And I'm like, I'm sus on orange. And then <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to call a meeting because then they're all going to get sus on me. And then I come in here and I'm like, orange is still going to kill me. But I'm in the middle of doing my really long task. And I'm like, you know what? Just let her kill me. I don't even care. But now I care. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, hey, listen, we're going to do the next round of the uh, side giving bracket challenge. And then I'm going to do the message. And then we're going to play more Among Us. All right. So you can leave. You'll We'll get timed out of this lobby here in just a minute. So you can back out of Among Us um, and we'll, we'll launch another one. You do not have to leave the Zoom call, though. Um, but we do need to pull up the... Um, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving tournament, so we can see where we're at. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna do the quarter. Whoa! Oh boy! There we go. Listen, my there we go. using skills it's all right. are rusty. We're doing fine. Doing fine. Um, all right, so we're in the quarterfinals. Uh, everyone, say hi when you get back to the YouTube chat because we have to vote in the YouTube chat. Uh, so that it's accurate and fair for all of the sides. Mm -hmm. We can't have it be some in the YouTube, some in the Zoom. So when you get back to the YouTube, say hi, so I know you're there, ready to vote. Um, let's see, we've got one. Cool, getting there. And if you're watching with people, remember that uh, voting as one, like sitting all together, will hurt your odds of uh, actually, you know, getting what you want to move forward. All right. We are ready to go. We are starting 
from the bottom right this time. So we are going mac and cheese against rolls. Mac and cheese against rolls. You have 30 seconds. We need to know who is moving forward. Which is better, mac and cheese or rolls? Now, a nice rolls, mac and cheese, rolls. A nice baked mac and cheese with like real cheese. Not we're not talking craft mac and cheese, Two guys. Rolls. We are talking the real deal. The real, you know, your grandma goes and she pulls it out of the oven. Maybe it's got some chicken or some turkey in there. Oh, come on now. Oh, we're are we tied? Are we tied? One, We've two, got three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, it's six and six. Six and six. Oh, it just came up uh, to uh, seven for rolls. Seven for rolls. We've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Rolls take it by I don't a hair. Know if I agree or understand. We are not doing rolls. No, we are doing um mac and cheese. I'm no, sorry, the rigged. rolls took it. This the is rolls threw up. <laughs> I got <laughs> totally rigged. The rolls I, are is... moving on. I cannot believe. I am shocked I am by that. Mac and cheese. How much do you pick? A bland roll over a mac and cheese. All and right, pasta. for this one, I will allow conversation in the Zoom call. So if you are on Zoom and you want to advocate for either cranberry sauce or pumpkin pie, now is your chance. You've got 30 seconds. Convince everyone why pumpkin pie or why cranberry sauce. That's no discussion. It's pumpkin pie. I, move, move on. I, I, I disagree. Cranberry sauce is a legend, not the can. You don't get the canned one, guys. You go and you get some cranberries, probably frozen cranberries. You dump them in a bowl. And then you do some stuff to them, and they become immaculate. They're amazing. And then you eat, and then you eat your pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, voting has begun. Do you want the pumpkin pie or... The cranberry sauce moving forward as the pumpkin ultimate. Pumpkin pie is oh dead in the lead. Gosh. It's like one person voted for cranberry sauce. Oh my goodness. Ken, can you let me in? <laughs> yes. We're going to let you into the zoo. Oh, wow. That was brutal. Guys, I've been crushed. I, I'm i devastated, honestly. That nice eye uh, oh, icon there, Fola. Yeah, that was well done. The... Uh, Emojis with the win. Oh, I didn't add a thing over. You here. could just drag the pumpkin pie one over. Oh, oh, why didn't I think of that to begin with? Boom, um, love it. All right, moving oh, on. Gosh. Moving on, we've got okra against green bean casserole. Anyone want to let us know why okra deserves to be in the semifinals? Anyone want to let us know why green bean casserole deserves to be in the finals? Maddie. I've never tried okra or green bean oh, I don't think, but, it, but green bean casserole sounds better. Yeah, I agree. I can agree. I say my reasoning? We have two more. Let's see, can, how's our vote going? My, yes. Can I say my reasoning? Yes, please. Um, my reasoning is because I eat it with like Nigerian dishes from my um, parents' home country. So it's, it's really good and I really like it. Okra, right? Ooh. We're talking about Thanksgiving. No, no, it doesn't matter. She's from her parents' home country. I bet it's okra, really good. It's, it's, okra, it's the point of the conversation. Okra. I prefer peanut butter, Captain Crunch, but we're talking about Thanksgiving dinner. I don't no. know what to tell you, Rob. It made the list. Some people are eating it for Thanksgiving. This is, I, I didn't assign yeah, these he's, things. He's not. That's not what he said. <laughs> uh, that is that yeah so they're like pickles is that what they are really audrey no they're not like pickles i think green bean casserole if you, was. If you pickle then like we always eat pickled okra that's why i said they're like, like pickles. fried um, okra isn't but it tastes like pickles when it's pickled gotcha that makes sense because it's got like pickle in the name that would that <laughs> Uh, all right, voting. Okay, How are we looking over there, producer? Not Thanksgiving. Um, we are tallying the votes. It's going to be close. Emmy said neither. Green bean casserole's winning. What's the barely? What's the tally? 
I say okra. The two okra. Waiting on the waiting on the fi- the final vote. It's like five to two. Five. What? Okra. I've got at least. What do you I'm got? looking at three okras in my chat right now. Four okras. What? You count. I've got one, two, three, three. I've got three okras. One person said, what even is okra? Are you yeah, that that's. One? I accidentally counted so that two. one as four. No, it's three. Is it? That, there's another one up higher. And then green bean. So green bean definitely won. Okay. Green bean casserole won. Nice job. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, the okra will not be moving on to the semifinals. And now the no! the the uh, the heavy hitter, the number one seed, mashed potatoes, going up against cornbread. If anyone could upset mashed potatoes, I think cornbread might have a chance. I need Are we someone. There's gravy. Is there gravy on these mashed potatoes? I am saying no gravy at this point. No Just gravy. Plain, they are plain, poorly cooked, un. Hey. De- they are terrible no. mashed potatoes. Don't mashed potatoes. Hey. 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 And the cornbread, the cornbread, I'm sure, has got a nice thing of butter. It's fresh out of the oven. It's just delightful. All right. I need someone who has had, who thinks that this should be cornbread and why? It should be cornbread because I am not eating unsalted, picky, disgusting, chewed mashed potatoes. Yep. Yep. I love it. I love it. I don't know if that was Faye or Folu, but that's a great answer. Let's that was, see. That was Folu. That was Folu. Um, let's see how we're doing here. Let's get a quick tally. Cornbread, we are not picking out disgusting unsalted potatoes. Yep. But that's going to be hard to overcome. Mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. Wow, there were so many mashed potatoes there. So mashed potatoes moving into the semifinals. This uh, is not fair. You know been, what? It's Yours been, been pretty brutal for you. You guys, been... you guys have voted. I think it's been on the wrong side the last three times, and I, I, I feel. What did I just do? I don't know. You did something though. That was maybe. I used to, I used to hate cornbread, but now I love it. <laughs> Lol, it's fine. There we go. All right, we got it figured out now. Moving forward, it's going to have to be like some pristine mashed potatoes that we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, they got to do finals. really well. Some rosemary or basil in them. Some nice uh, salt. Some garlic. Some, some garlic. cheddar cheese, maybe. Ooh, I don't cheesy know. cheesy mashed potatoes. Um, so after turkey the message. Turkey gravy. Turkey gravy. Uh, uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. So after the message, we will have mashed potatoes going up against green bean casserole and rolls going up against pumpkin pie. I'm pretty sure I know how this is going to shake out. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be hard to beat mashed potatoes, but we're going to see. Um, if but mashed guys, potatoes wins, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> they're just going to be raw potatoes going up against all of the other. <laughs> um, all right, so go ahead, uh, put yourselves on mute for a little bit, and then we are going to shift into... Oh, that's, oh, really- that's broken. Okay. Sorry that that was a broken. I'm throwing you curveballs over there, producer Andrea. It's okay. Um, today is day. Well, actually, who knows what today is? Does anyone want to let me know what specifically day is that I'm referencing? Anybody have any idea what today is? It's Wednesday. Is it the last day of uh, Board the Days of Prayer? Both of those are correct. Yes, it is Wednesday, indeed. It is also the final day of 40 Days of Prayer. So um, I have one verse uh, that I want to uh, leave with you guys because it, it it's the last day. It's the verse from today. Um, but then I also want to just hear, if any of you guys did 40 Days of Prayer, I'm going to give you guys a chance to let us know how it was for you. Maybe something that you learned or something God taught you. Um, so we'll do that in a little bit. In like five or ten minutes, I'll give you guys an opportunity. Of, and maybe you didn't do all 40 days. That's totally fine. But at some point, 
God spoke to you during these 40 days of prayer or your faith got stronger. I want to hear that from you guys because that's it's been it's been 40 days and it's been really cool to go through this with you guys and to all do it together. Um, even if you just tuned in on Wednesday nights, we were still doing this together. So uh, let's go ahead and pray and then uh, I'll jump in. Lord, thank you for uh, these last 40 days. And thank you for my friends who are here tonight and for uh, mashed potatoes and green bean casserole and, and being able to laugh and have fun together. I pray that you would uh, bless our time tonight. Uh, give me your words to speak. And uh, I pray that you would give our students uh, boldness to share what you've been doing in their lives. We love you. And in Jesus name, amen. Amen. All right, guys. If you have your Bible or you want to flip to it, we're looking at Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 tonight. Or if you want to pull out your GC app uh, and open up the 40 days of prayer, it is day 40. It's the last one. It's the very back of your book. If you're using the back of the, or if you're using the book before all of the bonus sessions and all the stuff back there, or it's the very top of the app. I, I, yeah, you know how to find it. Uh, but if you're using your Bible, it's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. In this passage, the, the writer of Hebrews, who we don't know uh, exactly who it is, there are people who have ideas, uh, but this is a foundational scripture in the Christian faith. This is a passage that we take and we look at. And honestly, this is something that we can evaluate our entire uh, lives through. Are we doing this with faith or without faith? Are we trying to please God on our own or are we trying to please God uh, through our faith? Are we trusting him? Uh, in everything that we do, knowing that he is going to glorify himself. Now, without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. See, that last half of that verse is really the heart behind the 40 days of prayer. The last section of that verse that says, if we have faith, right, that we've talked about in this verse, if we have faith, he rewards those who earnestly seek him. And these 40 days have been all about earnestly seeking God. We have set aside time every single day for no other purpose other than to draw close to God, to slow down our lives to stop and talk with him, to pray with him. And when he says he rewards those who earnestly seek him, I think that a lot of times uh, we can think, oh yeah, he's rewarding me with the things that I asked for, right? For those things that I've prayed for. He rewards me with uh, good fortune or good luck, right? What do you think that the greatest reward that we get when we have faith and we come to God, we come to him, we believe in him, we earnestly seek him. What is the reward? What is the greatest reward that God gives to those who earnestly seek him? Any ideas? Oh, Chelsea. It's hard for me to see hands um. right now, so I'm sorry eternal life. Absolutely. Or like that is the greatest gift that God ever gives. Now, in this verse, we're saying we already believe, we have faith, right? We've now we're coming to him with this request. We have already been given this enormous gift of salvation, this enormous gift of eternal life. You're absolutely right. But then when we earnestly seek him, in this passage, you're already a Christian. You've already have been given that gift and you're earnestly seeking God, but he still has a reward for us. What is that reward? There's another 
thing that God wants to give us. I'm just going to throw it out there because this is, this is a tricky one. It's his presence. The greatest reward after we've been, we've been saved, we have eternal life, we've accepted Jesus into our heart, we have that faith that it's talking about. The single greatest reward that God gives us is his presence. And I know some of you guys have felt that at different times in your lives. If you've had a mountaintop experience with God and you have been so close to him and you have uh, been able to feel that he is there and he is speaking to you, you know that that is the sweetest reward that God gives us while we're here on this earth is his presence. He speaks to us. He lives right alongside us with the whole, through the Holy Spirit. He talks to us. He gives us the wisdom we need to get through our lives. His presence gives us everything that we need. No matter what the problems are in our lives, no matter what the issues we face, we can accomplish all of those things with his presence because he will guide us through it. He will lead us to the things that he has for us. His presence, um, after we've been saved, after that reward that Chelsea um, mentioned is salvation. That's the greatest one. The next greatest, sweetest, most beautiful reward God gives us is fellowship with him in his presence through his Holy Spirit. And he wants that for us. He wants that with all of us. He wants to uh, draw close to us. And that's what the 40 days of prayer has been all about. It's been about taking time to draw close to God. One of the other passages we talked about earlier was uh, the Lord draws near to those who seek him. All of these last 40 days, we've been seeking God. And if you have faith, if you are a Christ follower, if you will seek after him, he wants to draw close to you. He wants his presence to fill your lives, to be in every decision you make, every school assignment you take. Um, there's, I'm not going to keep going with the rhyme. I was really going to get carried away with the rhyme there, guys, and it's, it was going to get out of hand. Um, but what I would love is if you have a story from the 40 days of prayer about how God spoke to you or maybe how God um, even just gave you peace when there was confusion because of the 40 days of prayer, because you were praying and spending time with him, I'd love, uh, if you guys would raise your hand, I'd love to call on you guys. Let me know if there's someone over there, Producer Andre. I know you can see more than I can. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to just open it up. If you, if God spoke to you through the 40 days of prayer, if he showed you something, taught you something, uh, or just helped you, uh, I want to know about it. We want to celebrate that together because God is good, and he wants to, he wants to reward us. He wants to bless us. Um, so I'll go ahead and wait and see. Don't everybody go at once. That's okay. Producer, oh, I thought I saw him. Producer Andrea, do you want to kick us off? Yeah. Um, I've really enjoyed um, just knowing that each day I'm going to have a little bit of time with God, even if it's only like, you know, 10 minutes. Um, maybe I'm trying to schedule that I can stick to. It has been really, really nice just to make a routine, you know? Yeah. It can be easy to forget to sit down and bring a little bit. So, it's been good reminders. That's great. I love that. That's definitely been a reminder for me too. It's been nice to have uh, some structure. A lot of times I will do Bible study in the morning or in the evening, but to have it be the same for every four, uh, these last 40 days has been really, that has been nice. Somebody else, what did God teach you through these 40 days of prayer? I'll share something, Ken. Yeah. Um, well, one, I've, uh, I think we've had some really good messages. So I've, uh, 
been encouraged by uh, what we've talked about on uh, Wednesday nights and uh, the Sunday messages have all tied together well. And and but but for me personally, like what I've appreciated about it, I got to share that I I uh, I jumped on late with the forty days of prayer, and so I was already behind. And then I had I had committed to something prior to that to do daily before we did this. So it's been very difficult for me and, and I haven't done a good job with it. However, I told you I'd made this other commitment and it was just on my own. But because we're doing 40 days of prayer and because we've got this thing where we're all trying to do something together and, and we're all trying to spend time with God some each day, um, it's been really helpful to me because I have been able to do that piece. Uh, and I've done that uh, really better than I have in in years, and so there's uh, it's just been uh, I, I've known this, but I haven't practiced it where you where you kind of come together with people and there's that there's that that accountability with your quiet time in that way. I haven't done that for a long time, and uh, it's provided me that. So I really I really have appreciated that as much as anything. Um, again, great great discussions and topics, but just just the encouragement to know that uh, that we're all in this together as far as trying to move our relationship forward with God. And and the 40 days of prayer has, uh, has been a piece of that for me, and I've really appreciated it a lot. I love that, Rob. Thanks for sharing that. Thanks for sharing that. That's, that's really encouraging, honestly. Um, well, we're not going to sit here forever. I know you guys, it's hard to share over Zoom. Sure, you can text or text it to mm-hmm. us, though. Yeah, put it in the chat or send me a text. Send Andrea a text if you have producer Andrea's number um, because we want to know that stuff. Um, We are, um, I thought I had an announcement tonight. No, next week I have an announcement. It'll be a lot of fun, but as of right now, nothing Mm -hmm. official. Was that, I heard a voice. I I, I, kid. What? Cleared my throat. Ah, <laughs> here I was getting really Thanks excited for... that someone was going to share for a moment. And... Someone wanted to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys. Next week, I hope to have an announcement for you guys about some exciting stuff, but we're waiting to confirm something. Um, so now I've just given you lots of anticipation to come back next week to hear the announcement. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish up the bracket uh before we uh go play more among us so then we can just be done with the bracket we can find out who the champion is uh and we can spend the rest of the night playing among Mm -hmm. us does that sound good all right cool here we go we are in the semi-finals we need mashed potatoes going up against green bean casserole uh i need a mashed potato advocate someone talk to me about why matt maddie johnson go One, mashed potatoes can have butter, spices that make it even better, and you can have a potato butter volcano. That, oh my goodness, that, that, that sounds delicious. Uh-huh. Someone that's advocating for green bean casserole. Why green bean casserole? Who voted? Has anyone voted for green bean casserole? No, we have lots of mashed potatoes. No votes for green bean casserole. We have one green bean casserole. I need a green bean. Who is it? It's one of the ladies. They put in there. They put two match one green bean. Okay. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, Audrey? It's me. Yeah, it's me. And I'd just like to say that mashed potatoes were the most disgusting thing ever made on the planet Earth, and I don't know why someone would make that. that I love that. No. Stand your ground, Audrey. I love it. Here's my problem with mashed potatoes. salty. They're either beautiful and, like, just this amazing experience in your mouth, or they're the worst thing ever, right? Like you get those mashed potatoes and they're like runny. Have you ever had those ones, right? You like pick it up with the fork and it looks more like grits. It's all just running, uh, gross. Or you get it and it's just bland. So I'm on the fence. I appreciate the green bean casserole. But it does look like mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes going through. Mashed potatoes are going through. Mashed potatoes into the mashed final. Mashed potatoes are amazing because they come from potatoes. What was that? I said mashed potatoes are amazing because they come from potatoes and potatoes are amazing. I 
I don't cool. think I've ever heard anyone say that before, but I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, all right. In the other semifinal, we have pumpkin pie going up against rolls. Are we going to get a... Oh, my gosh. Rolls made it all the way to the, the semifinal. It's just the roll. Guys. It's the thing you bring when you get it <laughs> It's up. like the one thing. <laughs> like, that's what I'm bringing to Thanksgiving this year, guys. Yeah. I am bringing... A bag so far, of rolls. So far, rolls is winning. Unreal. I Unreal. Not. What in the what world? What is wrong with everybody? Okay, hold on. There's there's a there's a comeback going on here. We've got Rob oh, says pumpkin pie. There's two more over with Audrey. There's only three. There's pies. three pumpkin pies. Unbelievable. Wrong. Eight of you just love bread. <laughs> <laughs> but with cream on pumpkin pie, but ice cream on pumpkin pie. I don't understand. Unbelievable. The rolls have advanced to the finals. What? Oh my is this? goodness. We've we got can. one more round for the finals. It's I need mashed potato or rolls. Here, before we vote in this final round, I need a nominee uh, to spell out the case for the roles. Why the roles should be the side-giving challenge champion. Uh, Maddie, you did mashed potatoes. I'm going to let someone else go, okay? Why <laughs> roles? Uh, let's see. Who is... Does anyone want us to speak on behalf of... Go I'm not imposters. Nobody can speak for the roles. I, imposters. I, no, I heard it. either Faye or Bolu. Faye, go ahead. This is Faye. Um, I can speak them for the roles. Um, when they come fresh out of the uh, when they come oh. fresh out, and they're soft and warm, it's so hot and good. And the softness oh. of the rolls are so good. So I don't honestly, if you put. If it was apple pie to pumpkin pie, I would have picked apple pie, but... Yeah, that's you know what you can do with rolls? I know I'm talking a lot of snack about them, but you can make a nice sandwich with that roll. You put your turkey inside of it, put turkey and all the other sides inside the roll. You can make a nice sandwich, but there's no need to put your p pumpkin pie inside a couple of rolls. <laughs> <laughs> also, um... Just have whipped cream. It's really good on rolls. So... I love that. Well stated, Faye. I need to let, I need to hear from the mashed potato fans. So who is going to vote mashed potatoes that wants to advocate for mashed potatoes other than Maddie? Because you did it so well last time. Chelsea, go ahead. Why mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes are fluffy and salty, and rolls are, like you. Like rolls, rolls are a hundred times better. No, 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 rolls no. are just so bland. You can get a so roll boring. any day. Mashed potatoes you can only have mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving. No, no, no you cannot. I had mashed potatoes you like ten times this year. You can put yeah, butter on a, rolls. You're choosing to take a boring lifestyle or fun and fresh. Yeah. They're both <laughs> bland. Yeah, they're, they're both bland. bland. No, no, no. <laughs> they're they're bland. Butter is bland. Bland is already good. No more We have a real right. problem, Ken. We All have right. a problem. You know the the problem. The problem is that the, I, I'm seeing through all this fuzziness while I'm hearing all this. And the truth is, we needed to be able to have an actual light co Thanksgiving dinner so we could really decide instead of having people yes. that are judging. Yes. They're judging pumpkin pie on somebody's store-bought pie. They're yep. judging rolls that are out of a can yep. instead of their grandma's homemade out of the oven rolls. We need a real Thanksgiving dinner. Preach it. And instead, we're misjudging these foods, Ken. They're preach being misjudged. It, God. Yes, go Passion. preach it. Oh, wow. I have been moved in my I spirit. Am. Just a little saddened, honestly. Yeah. Because both of these options are so bland. <laughs> There's really nothing special going on at all. And I don't understand how we got here. All right, how guys. Butter on rolls. Butter also, on rolls is really good. Shout That's out true. to Josiah and Dathan for saying okra needs to be in the final. I, I respect that. Here we go. It this is time. So that, uh, the, the pie can win. It, it is time to vote. 
rolls or mashed potatoes, let us know. If rolls wins. Yeah, I'm going to be blown away if rolls wins. This is this is unreal. This next snack bar with this rolls. Yeah, every every <laughs> time at Lyco, I'm not bringing licorice. I'm just bringing rolls. Just rolls. Uh, let's see. Mashed potatoes. Three mashed potatoes. Four. Five. I've got five mashed potatoes. Five potatoes. All right. Oh, wait. It is, yeah, six. Two rolls. Come on. Rolls need a rolls need a late ballot find here. Rolls <laughs> need the win. All right. Ballots close in 10 seconds. If you haven't voted, you oh. need to vote. Oh, dang. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It's it's tightening up. Woo. Oh, we're getting more. This is... Uh, all right. The voting has stopped. The vote... The polls have closed. And the final... And she's counting quietly. The suspense, guys. Oh, the winner by one. Am I, do you want to do a double count real quick? Just to make sure I'm not... I mean, we're this is this is go. I'm gonna count the mashed potatoes. You count the rolls, okay. okay? And I just I just saw a tweet from Donald Trump. They want to recount. They want to recount. <laughs> we're recounting. We're recounting. We're gonna take it. We're taking it to the courts. We'll be right back. Just just we'll Maybe let you know recount. in three weeks. Three weeks, you guys will find out who won. Okay. I'm counting mashed potatoes. Three. The winner, by one vote, in a tally of seven votes to six votes, is Mashed Potatoes for the win. Unbelievable. Are you serious? I know. <laughs> I know. Guys, that was so much fun. That was so contested. I loved how close that was. I can't believe it came down to mashed my, potatoes and rolls. My though. nerves are shot. Oh my goodness. Great job, guys. Hey, listen up. We are heading over to um, Among Us. So I need to open up a new uh, server. Uh, and I'll let you guys know what the room code is. But it is official that mashed potatoes are... Is Edson so we need to make sure this time people who didn't play last time. Yes. So if you did not play and you want to play, make sure you let us know so that we can make sure we get you in the game. Uh, can I and... play? Yeah, absolutely. The room code is Q-Y-X-Y-V, as in veterinarian, F, as in forfeit. I'm putting it in the chat. So if you did not get to play last time, make sure you let me know because this game will probably fill up as well. If you did not play and want to play, we want to make sure everyone gets a chance to play. We're very passionate about that. Mm -hmm. um, so Taking I need to turns. move this over to here. And if you get asked to let someone else have a turn, we just ask that you be gracious and allow someone else to have a turn. Uh, Puppy Chow in the chat on YouTube. Uh, mashed potatoes won. Uh, or not puppy chow, puppy cookie. Sorry. All right, we are at 10. Does anyone out there want to play that did not get in the first game? Is anyone trying desperately Is to get in? in? Is see me in this game? Oh, wait, that's my brother. Sorry, that's the name that I'm Faye, but that's the name. Um, Got the it. Faye, Got did you get in? Yes, I did. Okay. You've got 10 seconds in the chat or on the, the Zoom. you got to let us know in 10 seconds if you want to play and are not in. we got to know, otherwise we're going to start this game. Wait, is it for people that haven't gone? No, it, right now, everyone that's in here is fine. Oh, avocado left. No! Oh, an avocado. Thanks. Lorelai is back. I'm guessing Lorelai was avocado. That's great. All right, we're starting the game. Here we go. Make sure you're not watching the YouTube, because so I'm an imposter this time. It's not fair. Every time. Every single time, guys. Every time. All right, who am I partnered with? I'm not, no, no, no. You never. I 
gotta I gotta go because I don't know if uh, if we're gonna be able to. Oh, okay, so we do have some people that know how to play. That's great. That's great. I mean, everyone knows how to play. Oh my goodness, my mouse freaked out. All right, get this key card swipe first try. Boom, every time. Smooth. Perp man is not purple. Just scoping you out, perp man. <laughs> come on, perp man, let's go. Oh, oh, come on. I could have killed you back there. I'm not being sus because I could have killed you. I didn't kill you. Right? No, come here. Oh, dear. Oh, you're putting my one What? What is it? It's red. I was in security and watched red use the vent. Oh, Maddie um, with a, a big... What's the fence? Hannah, come watch me. Um, yeah. Come watch me do garbage. I didn't use a vent. Maddie, did you use a vent? Are you just accusing someone of no, using I, a vent? I was in security and I watched red use the vent. That's... Wait, did the event into security or out of security? I can actually confirm that. It was like, like you know the hallway in how there's vents there? He used, I just watched him disappear through one of those. I like saw him at each I'm not going to vote. I think it's both of them. Early. Maybe no, it's just they wanted, they wanted to call an emergency to call them out. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's either... It's either Jackson or now Maddie is gonna be gonna be sus well, if it Maddie, wasn't Jackson. I'm Maddie claiming Jackson have, because if it's not Jackson, then she'll be voted out. Right. Let's vote Jackson and then vote Maddie. Not me, but the other Maddie. I like it, but we do need someone to vote. Who are we waiting on? There we go. Oh. Why did that one break? We've had some scenes get broken over here. I got some technical good. difficulties. Mm -hmm. Jackson is ejected second time in two games. A rough way to go. Uh-oh, lights are out. It's not good. Let's start this download. I love how intermittent the Wi-Fi is over here, because at first it tells you it's going to be like four days. Uh -huh. And then it's like 10 seconds. It's just all over the place. Audrey, don't you dare kill me. Nice people in there. Well, I know. All right, I'm staying with you guys. I'm staying with you. Audrey, wait. Come here. <laughs> What's the meeting for? What? What's up? Yes. What? Yes? I saw... You're muted. Oh, never mind. Am I... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. I saw Maddie trying to sneak up. And I saw her going on security cam. And then she... She could... She um, came into the security and pretty much stopped it. Well, I was in security with you for a little bit, but like if I were the imposter, I would have killed you right away. That's fair. Also, uh, I'm not going right to right 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 that's true. So, like, it could be her. I don't think it's Emmy. I think Maddie J is a little sus. I mean, I was with them the. Um, <laughs> I. It's not one. enough for me to go on. I'm going to skip. And then we can just note that both Maddies have been a little bit. Eh. Uh, can you follow me? Okay, I'll Will follow somebody, you. Somebody uh, watch me. Audrey, I'll watch, I'll I was watch, with you, so Audrey can clear me. I'll watch Maddie. I'll watch Maddie. If she, and if I just did garbage. Let me do garbage. I already said. Maddie, Maddie, we need you to vote. Wait, which Maddie should I follow? <laughs> That's a great question. I'm following with you. Okay, anyway. okay, I'll watch um the other Maddie, not Maddie J. <laughs> No one was ejected. All right, here we go. It's getting real serious tonight. Mm -hmm. Ken, follow me. Wait. Or I follow Ken.
Come on, guys, we can do this. Just stay together, do your tasks. <gasps> We've been locked in. Okay, he didn't do anything. Oh. Lights again? Oh, we got a dead body. Uh-oh. Where was the body? And it's oh, Maddie I J. Have something to say. Wait, Maddie, Maddie, I'm pretty sure it's the imposter. Because we were all in the room and the door got blocked. Maddie somehow got out. Yeah, and Maddie walked into electrical and she saw that there were a lot of people in it in electrical and she walked out. And she and the door because we couldn't get out. Ooh, and Maddie got that out. Is us. That's really so, sus, so Maddie. I was with Black like a and bunch of the time and then I saw Hannah, so I wanted to follow her. So I know did the door get blocked and you got out. I, yeah, I me, don't know. Let me Thank quickly you, see Madeline. I'm not totally Let sus, me quickly say something. That let me look and say something that Maddie was, I tried to follow her. <laughs> she kept going back and forth and I couldn't really follow her that I was so well, confused also because I was confused what we were doing. I was trying to be with Black and then what happened was I saw Hannah and I wanted to follow somebody so that I knew, so that I knew somebody would with, be with me. And I well, practice. here's the question, Maddie. Where were you? I was um, going to follow I, Maddie. All right, guys. I we are going, going to... to... I don't know the room name. I was with Whoops. Hannah, she is. We, were in, we are uh, going we were to, task to fix the light. sign well, off no, wait, uh, for tonight. If you want to see how this ends, make sure you tune uh, in on, every week uh, to Light Co. Live right here. And we will uh, we'll be back same time, same place next week. But we will like catch you uh, next Wednesday at 6.30. Bye, yeah. guys.